okay guys so welcome back once again to techliska youtube channel and in this tutorial you are going to learn how you can easily install the php versions so php version 5.4 5 6 php 7 php 8 so whenever your server is outdated because every few months there is a new php version and if you want to uh, you know install the latest version or switch back to a previous version of php you must first have to install it so if you are a whm or cpanel user then you are lucky because there is a direct tool which is there to install the php versions for you it's called easy apache so if you switch on to this one you will see inside the software there is an option called easy apache okay and this easy apache sometimes you will see easy apache 3 for old servers and for old cpanel software and if your cpanel software is upgraded you will see easy apache 4 okay so let's quickly jump on to easy apache 4 and there you will see lots of profiles right so all these are the default cpanel profiles which are provided and packed with the cpanel default installation right so uh, what you're going to do is you have to switch to current installed packages which is the current version which is uh, applied to your server profile so you can click on the customize button and this is the custom profile where you need to make changes okay so you will see something like this interface where you have multiple tabs over here so you need to go to php versions okay and if you scroll down you will see that my server has php 5.6 installed then 7 installed 7.1 2 3 and 4 so all these uh, different versions of php are installed for me let's suppose your application involves php 7 5.5 so you can sw simply switch on to this but it will give you a warning that the php version 5.5 is eol which means end of life that means the official team of uh, php developers and community are not supporting php 5.5 for now okay but if you still want to install it you can simply go to here and after that this will ask you option whether you want to install the necessary extensions as well so yeah i will choose necessary extensions as well and once you click on this you need to go to next okay so after this is done it will come to php extensions so usually you don't have to tick anything over here when you want to install a new php version as the cpanel by default installs the necessary extensions right so after that you click on next we don't need to choose anything from ruby then we click on next then you have the additional packages over here so if you want to deploy some java applications you can install this stormcat server or if you want to install something in node you can use the node server or even if you want to uh, you know instead of apache if you want to also install nginx then you can simply install this from here by selecting but for now we don't need to install anything so we just click on next review and the end step would be that you need to provision this server okay so provision is something that will make the changes to your server so these are the modules that will be installed as the php version 5.5 and all these common extensions okay provision so it, this will going to take some while and once this is done everything will be fine okay so the process is started and i think it's going to take less than a minute to apply all the changes okay so as you can see here the provision is complete so you need to click on the done and after that you will see that php 5.5 version is installed over here okay so that's how it works so guys this is very easy and straightforward i hope you like this tutorial if you have known another methods of installing php please let me know in the comment section Thanks a lot. Have a good day. Bye.